What's up guys, I wanna show you how to get this relic for the Ready Player One event. The game that we're gonna to have to go into here is called Vehicle Simulator. Okay, so now inside of the game Vehicle Simulator, you click on Vehicles and see where it says Shop Vehicles. Click on Shop Vehicles, highlight that, and you can search for a certain vehicle that looks just like the DeLorean that Ernest Klein had in the interview there uh, with Dave Bazuki. So uh, search for CMD Hover Car. Now this one, the price has gone down. It's only 1985. So that 1985 is actually something fairly significant. It's it's a year basically. Uh, we've got this hover car, the CMD hover car. Uh, we're going to get this thing ready. We're going to drive it over here. It should be in your my vehicles. Now if you need money, it's really easy. Get any car and just drive a little bit and you make money every time you drive forward. So it doesn't take much to get enough to get this thing. Uh, so now that we're here, we've got a car. There's this area up here in the upper left. Um, so you can see where I am right now. There's a little building just a little bit up to the side of it um, where we're at. So I've already driven all the way out here. What I'd recommend, there's a little flag, like a race area over there that you can actually put a marker on and it can kind of uh, tell you how to get there. So uh, there's also these windy roads to get up there and it's, that's the easier way to do it. Or you can just brute force it and try to get the, uh, the car to go up over that hill. But right here, this is the Pawn Corp Laboratory. Again, this is in the upper left part of the map. I'm gonna show you right here in the map exactly where I am. Now, I would just, from the very beginning, just put a, a spawn point or a, a marker at that flag, and then it'll get you really close to where you have to get to get over here. Uh, so now, there's this vending machine over here. In order to uh, open the special door to get the goggles that you need, you're going to have to buy these items in an order. So the order is chocolate donut, hot dog, and then cola right here by cola, and then get a pink donut and then get a glazed donut and then get a, another hot dog and then a cola so if you've done that correctly in the proper order then uh, everything will turn green this door behind you will open up and it'll say access granted so down here there is a little area you're gonna have to come back here later as a part of this whole thing but first we're gonna go on a little bit of a uh, a easter egg hunt uh for some files i believe is what they are right here you see how it says data drives we have to go find eight data drives hidden throughout the entire map but in the corner here you're gonna see these goggles so in order to find those data drives you're gonna need the goggles so you get those goggles they don't cost anything it's pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, you just get those they're over there on the floor shouldn't be a problem for you to get those now in order to get out it looks like I can't go back in this elevator uh, but we can also just kind of put the goggles on and we will get a little bit of a message that indicates what we need to do to get out of here. So to put the goggles on, go down to your phone and where it says settings, you should see this right here, the uh, Pawn, uh, Pawn Labs goggles. Go put those on just the way I did just now. So now you can see everything's sort of like a tint of green and you can see some things that you couldn't see before, like right here. It says the water is warm, so you might as well swim. You can't go through here yet. You need to get the data drives to be able to go in there to get the last part. Uh, so you can just jump into this this river and you can get yourself wiped out. Well, now that we reboot, of course, come over here, go to settings in your phone, go to Pawn Labs, make sure you've got these goggles on. Uh, you can see I've already found all of these, but I'm gonna show you basically here on the map, the main locations that you need to find them. So um, there's one over here, there is Ocean, uh, it's Ocean Academy. Um, Ocean Academy here, uh, there is one inside of that little building over there. Uh, there's one here in the shipping containers out in the shipping yard area. There's also one that is near the uh, the fire station. Uh, let's see, the fire station, trying to find where the fire station. So there's one over near the fire station around the corner. We're gonna show you how to get these as well. There's one that's kind of off here towards um, the corner of the hospital area. Uh, there is uh, uh, this one that's in the corner of the area. There's there's a sign behind there that we can get uh, to get that one. Um, there's also one that's kind of up here in the mountains, kind of in that area. Um, there's also, let's see, there's two of them that are in this little town over here. Basically, I'm gonna show you all these different locations of where to find all of these different discs so that you can access the final part. Okay, so now we're gonna actually go and get these. So we're, at this point, we're at the Ocean Academy. The map is very helpful. After I get these, uh, usually I'm gonna show you on the map where I am located. If you wanna see where you are on the map, actually, um, there's like a little white 
arrow. It's like a little white triangle that shows exactly where you are. So this is the first one that we found here uh, back there in the Ocean Academy. Uh, so just to show you guys basically uh, pr for perspective where we are on the map, uh, we're going to take a look at this thing right here. Uh, the map is on the left side. You can hit those little arrows to make it a little bit bigger so you can see where you are. But we're down here at the bottom right. You can see uh, down at the bottom right there, that's, that's where we are. It's the Ocean Academy. The next one up here in the upper right of the map where I showed you that shipyard is, in that area there is another one. So you come over here, you can kind of look in the environment and see here, this is the shipping yard. It's in the uh, northeastern part of the map. If you go over here, you can see there's this covered area. And in the shipyard, you can see that there is a uh, box over here as well. And inside of this shipping container, you can find the next hard drive right there. Um, I may be setting some uh, some different waypoints so that I can go to different areas just to try to look. Uh, basically, you'll also hear, if you've got your audio on, you'll hear these. Uh, now, this is over by the fire station. So uh, you can just set your waypoint. If you go to the map and you click on certain areas, you can uh, basically, it'll give you a path to get there. Uh, so just around the corner from the fire station is this one right here. So this is the second one. Uh, some of these say words on them like, gotta go fast, commerce, paper, bon bon bonfire, sky high. I'm not exactly sure what those are supposed to mean uh, when they say those things on the side of the buildings, but who knows? Anyways, this is where we are on the map. You can see right there, just kind of on the left side, just around the corner from where the fire station is. Uh, so there's some other places up here. Up north over there, there's going to be a barn up in the northern area. It says that we can't set a waypoint to that one. Um, there's also some signs and things that we're going to have to go to. Some different locations that we're going to go to in this map in order to do this. So this next spot that we're going to go to, though, is in the upper left it's uh this little barn over here so up in that open area where you see all the fields uh to the left side basically uh west side of it you can see that there's going to be this barn uh area this this whole big barn area and this barn right here in the middle you can see if you go around the corner there is an open barn door you can't go in these other doors and i was sort of also hunting while i was recording this footage at the same time so uh so now we've got four of those at this point this is the barn one um so next one that we're gonna find right here i believe is the upper right area let's see so there's the shipping container area uh like i showed you basically in the very beginning uh but you can see right there uh the arrow just to show you basically where i was located when i got this particular uh hard drive uh so now we're gonna head back into the town area so down in the bottom left of the map uh there is a you can see this billboard over by where this little uh drag race thing is over there so over by the bat drag race you can see there is this billboard and under the billboard which i think it's a leaderboard you can see right there it's actually the bottom right of the map there bottom right of the map is where this billboard is and then under the billboard you can find this next hard drive right there so so this next one right here uh you know that little neighborhood it's on the west side there's a neighborhood kind of over on the on the west not the main neighborhood the one on the west if you start driving around eventually you'll see uh there is a building that has one of these little green uh, hard drives next to it. It's really easy to find. Just go into that little neighborhood there on the west side. Uh, so now for this one over here, there is a little mountain thing that you need to uh, that you need to go to uh, up here. This is kind of over on the west side. This is over by where the main uh, elevator thing is. You're gonna start hearing the beeping sound. Uh, so at the bottom of this hill, I started driving all the way up the hill, thinking it was gonna be further up here, but it wasn't. It's just kind of off the road, just off the side of the road over here to the side. You can see there's a little fireplace and two little camping beds. Now next to those items, you can find the next hard drive right there you can see right over there on the other side there is the buildings just past there so it's not really too hard to get this one uh now the next one that we're gonna get is really close to where that hill was there's a little crane if you just drive uh i think just off to the i think to the west uh but if you look around in the sky you'll be able to see the big crane that's over there. Uh, basically what you have to do to get this one, you have to climb to the top of the crane. So we're gonna go up here to the top of the crane 
and we're going to snag this one. Uh, if you fall, you won't take fall damage and die, so I think you'll be okay. But uh, you kind of have to climb up the correct side of the truss so that you don't hit your head uh, so you can jump out. But once you're able to get out onto this open area, you can grab yourself the last hard drive, and then that will open up this little obby for you uh, in the main area. So from here, we're just going to kind of show you how to get there and how to finish this up. So uh, you've done, if you've got all of the hard drives at this point, you've done the hardest part of this whole thing because we're driving around and getting all these uh it reminds me of a 2019 um egg i don't remember what the game was but it was like a glitched egg it was like a hacked egg and uh that game was a little tricky we had to run around the map we had to find a bunch of stuff so this is very similar to that so as you can see i went to the map and i just set the waypoint there uh to that little that little racing area that is right next to the the pawn shop that we're going to is it the pawn shop i don't know it's uh it's basically the same place that we went to earlier to go down and get the goggles now we have to just go back there to that location we're going to go down and that door is now open and we can go through and we can move on to the next part okay so here we are now back at pond corp laboratory uh this is again uh really easy to find i recommend just set your waypoint to the the little flag that's right next to this building and you should be good to go then once again we're gonna go in here and we're gonna open up the door the same way we did last time now it looks like if you leave the game and you come back you'll still have all the stuff it will be saved the hard drives will be saved your goggles will be saved so uh, if you do end up crashing fortunately it won't uh, it won't ruin all of your progress so just remember it's chocolate hot dog cola pink glazed hot dog and cola and then again it's going to open up this little secret area here for you uh now this is not too hard i was expecting to encounter some like really really difficult obby and spend a whole bunch of time and pull out a whole bunch of my hair in the process but it's not really it's not really difficult to do this at all uh you just kind of go in here but there is a lot of stairs here i noticed uh so just make your way down to the bottom of the stairs it's just a lot of, it's a really, really, really long windy st staircase for you guys. Okay, so now that we've reached the bottom of the staircase, you can come out into this little area. Uh, you can see if we go left. Uh, at first when I looked at this, I was like, what am I supposed to do? I don't think I can do that. I can't jump that far. But you can just walk along the side of it and it's really no big deal. Uh, so at the end of this, I'm pretty sure if you walk in that stuff, you're going to die. So I, I just would recommend not walking into the green stuff. Uh, anyways, now you can spawn your vehicle on the other end uh, i think you're supposed to go really fast i'm not sure exactly how fast you're supposed to go or even if you're you have to do that at all but it i thought it was going to break through and i thought you had to go fast but i guess you don't if you're just running though it's going to take a long time to get to the end and at the very end of the corridor you can see on the right side there is this room and in this room there's a little bit of a rocket in here but in order to launch the rocket we need to enter the code so there's a little keypad right here remember that 1985 price of the delorean yeah 1985 is the code so 1985 click on okay and then turn around and then go and find yourself a seat inside of this little rocket uh so this little rocket right here is going to it's the ad astra per aspera i guess is the name of the badge anyways once you sit down you will have the badge on uh, the screen you can see you've got that in the bottom right hand corner this little silo is going to take off into the air and shoot off into this uh this area which you go up there and there's like a cool little car that you can purchase i went and i purchased it it was only 1985 uh, so I purchased that as well. Uh, but once you finish all this, you will have this right here, Rick's Boombox in your inventory. And that is one of the relics there for the Ready Player 2 event. There's also another one here coming. Looks like uh, we're going to do some dungeon quests. So I'm going to make a video to show you guys how to do that one. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you've got the notification bell on. So you guys are notified when I put out these videos uh, to show you guys how to get this stuff. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys later.